again today. What are you doing? Wow. I forgot to show you something, y'all. This is a very durable, do y'all see this? Red pepper wrap, can, can we get a boing boing? Look at that, hmm? I know what you're saying, oh Tanya. Uh, Tanny, you've done it again. <laughs> I wanna tell you what's in this and I wanna, the main thing is this. A while ago, that wrap was like this, okay? Which clearly is overdone for a wrap. Do y'all see that? Are you picking that up? Do you hear that? It was like that and now, it's like this. Hmm? Do y'all see? It's the perfect wrap texture, huh? So I want to tell you what's in that, and I want to tell you how it went from over crispy to flexy, okay? And you can only do this with this type of wrap because otherwise, if you try to re-moisten a wrap that doesn't have um, the specific ingredient in it, then guess what? It's just gonna disintegrate, so don't try that at home unless you're using the Irish Moss. So what is in this? You can go to my video called Irish Moss, what is it and how to use it, okay? Um, I could possibly link that below if I remember, yes I could. But you can find that on my channel, type in Irish Moss. And I'm showing you how to take that from your dried out Irish Moss, which is a seaweed, okay? And how to rehydrate that and how to blend it into a gel, and I'm showing you exactly how to do it. Very easy, it's cheap, and it stays in the fridge for months, okay? And like a gel, it just looks like an applesauce in your fridge, okay? And then, you turn it into this, do y'all see? These things are very durable. They last for days, even weeks, okay? And you don't even have to be like that particular with them. Like, you know, it wasn't like a raw vegan wrap because they're very temperamental usually, but not these. I'm just saying, even if you over dehydrate it, you can rehydrate because that's what it was a minute ago, which is a delicious cracker, but I wanted a wrap. So anyway, in, in that, in your blender, add in 3 4th cups of Irish Moss Gel. That means you made the gel by taking, for example, one part to one part, moss to water. Say two cups Irish Moss, drain and packed, to two cups water. You blend till it's smooth, you put it in the fridge, you let it gel up, then you use it for weeks on end, right? Hey, little crunchy, how are you, beautiful? So, that's what you do. So now you've got your gel prepared and you put three-fourths cup Irish Moss gel in your blender. Then we had two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother. Then we have um, two tablespoons of Frontier brand Mexican Fiesta Urban Spice, okay? Then we had one tablespoon of Dulce Flex, which tastes like salt. You can get that at Whole Foods. Um, I usually get the uh, Main Coast brand over there. Um, so you can also get it online, or if you use salt, you can put salt in instead, but I don't eat that. Okay, then we have one fourth cup of freshly ground raw golden flax seeds. Okay, you want to grind those right before you use them because you don't want them to be rancid like if you buy flax meal. Okay, that's not the thing to do. You want the nutrients intact, okay? It's very easy. I have a cheap little $2 thrift store coffee bean grinder that's from the 70s that works perfect. So what I'm saying is, on the cheap. So then we have two uh, cups of red or orange bell pepper or yellow, okay? Sometimes the red can be a little spicy, but these were sweet. So let's just say you split it up or you have red or orange or yellow. Any of those would work, okay? So that's what we had. You blend that up. You take your Teflex or Paraflex sheets or parchment paper in your dehydrator. You smooth it out. Make sure it's thick enough. Let's say um, not quite half an inch but thick enough, okay, and make sure it's uniform too. What I did was after I dehydrated this, these are great because, at, do you see how that looks store-bought? And somebody was arguing with me on here the other day saying it was store-bought. It's not, I just made this, okay, Christopher saw me make it. Anyway, but what I did was I cut it on my cutting board with a knife. So what I wanted to tell you was I left it in my dehydrator a little bit too long. You're gonna leave it in there until you can take another additional grid, okay? You've, you've got the batter on your, your sheets, okay? So when you're ready to flip that over and peel the paper off, you take an additional grid and tray, you lay it on top 
of the exposed side, you flip it over, you take the original grid off, and you peel the paper. Are you picking that up? So that's what you do, and then you let it dehydrate the rest of the way until it is flexy. On 115 degrees, how long, Tanny? As long as it takes, because it depends on how moist your red bell peppers were, okay? It depends on your moisture in the area, your humidity, your dehydrator. So um, anyway, how's it gonna come out like this? Look at that, do y'all see? Can you, can you all just, do y'all see? Mm -hmm. Do y'all enjoy that? Look. Are you, are you understanding the bend of that? Mm. Okay, and it was like this, which I'm just keep on showing you because that's really crispy. That's not a wrap, that's a cracker, and that's okay, but I wanted a wrap. So when it came out, the very middle was still slightly flexy, okay? But the rest was a little over dried. So you take a paper towel, you run it under water, you squeeze it so it's damp, you take your, your um, wrap you put it on a cutting board or whatever on a flat surface you lay the damp paper towel on top you pat it down okay and then you leave it for a little bit until it rehydrates exactly like you want it this is the only kind of wraps you can do this with because any other kind will disintegrate okay and it is the irish moss it's why this thing like really do y'all i mean are y'all in are you enjoying that can can i get an amen do y'all see hello Hello, are you understanding the Irish Moss Wraps? And are you saying my name? Look at that. Come on. That is, I mean, really? Look, look. Mm, yes. Uh, Lexi, look. Mm, I know. It, I know, it's impressive. So anyway, it's the only wrap you can do that with because the Irish Moss gives it a pliability like nothing else. What does it taste like, you're wondering? Well, let's try one of the crackers, okay? Mm. Well, it tastes like a wrap, like you would think of a whole wheat wrap. Um, these, of course, taste like a whole wheat cracker, like a Triscuit, so to speak. Um, not really a Triscuit, a wheat thin. But, so it's got a basic, like, neutral flavor of a wheat thin, but these, because it has the red bell pepper, has a little sweet and a little kick. Then I have the Mexican Fiesta Spices, so it has a slight, like, spicy Dorito flavor. Come on! Would this not be good? I mean, you could basically just put any kind of greens in here. Or really, see, since I've got several of these, this is not all my fat for the day, okay? So what I could do is come over and take out some of this stretch the fat avo dip I just made. I could layer it in there very politely and put lots of greens in there and cut it, and then you could say my name yet again. What about that, hmm? Yes. So I'm having some company later, and I didn't have time to make a lot of chips, but I do have some um, organic blue corn tortilla chips that I'm going to serve on the side with some romaine scoops and then I'm going to have some wraps and I don't the wraps I do have one to share but like take your choice like other people can eat other things but I don't eat blue corn tortilla chips I mean unless I actually got organic raw blue corn around here and then I could make it into some I could really do that and that sounds like a good recipe but anyway I just wanted to show y'all that and just when y'all thought I was done talking today. <laughs> Devon, there you are. I was just texting you back. Devon, where do you live? Because you must be on the West Coast because that was 1 o'clock for me and it was 10 o'clock for you on Saturday. See, I know my math. Not really. I don't know time zones either, but I was trying to figure that out. Anyway, I sent you a message back. Make a taco. Can y'all, are y'all visualizing that? Like a, a taco scoopy? Hello, look at that. Hello. Mm -hmm. Y'all got anything else? And I'm getting off here. You're in Washington State. Yes, so you're three hours behind me. So, um, yeah. So I had some time tomorrow. We won't chat about the times on here, but I sent you a message, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pray?